What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors, it's Ultra Crypto, back at it again today is Tuesday, June 30th, 2020, a rising tide lifts all boats. That's what will happen when Bitcoin takes off. It will carry the rest of the crypto market with it because one, it's the number one coin, but the main reason is it is the crypto reserve currency. Let's get into it. Before I start, actually, if you guys like the kind of videos I bring to you guys every day, please smash that like, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell to smack YouTube in the face. Let them know that you like my content. 84% of you guys are watching my videos and aren't subscribed. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. And thank you to all the supporters that support me already. This is coming out of Cointelegraph, as a matter of fact. All my stories today are coming from Cointelegraph. You gotta love their artwork. Crypto Research Report predicts 397K Bitcoin price by 2030. Research behind a June report from the Crypto Research Report used Bitcoin's target addressable market to predict a rise to 397K. The report, again, is predicting it over the next 10 years. This decade is the decade of blockchain, but they just break it down right here. We believe that Bitcoin is still at the very start of its adoption curve. The report states the price of 7,200 at the end of 2019 suggests that Bitcoin has penetrated less than 0.44% of its total addressable market worth $212 trillion. When people ask or when they say, oh, I'm too late for Bitcoin, I missed the boat, you gotta explain to them that we're still super early. We're we're only, not, we're not even at 1% adoption yet. 1% adoption of a $212 trillion market. And when we reach a 10% market, of that 10% of the $2 trillion, $200 trillion market, you best believe there's gonna be fireworks. And the research went into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Stellar. These are the current prices. Prices uh, 2020, is not current prices? Oh, these are the prices at the, by the end of 2020, they're predicting. <laughs> by 2025, so this is after the next halving in 2024, 2030, and then 2033. And we've got to still picture Bitcoin taking a 10% of the addressable market. So that's remittance, that's uh, savings like we're doing with Bitcoin right, right now. That's buying things, you know, or retail. The report goes in depth, but this is just giving you a snippet of, of what, what happened. The report, I think, yeah, you could just click right here and, and get the report if you're interested in it. We have right here, on-chain velocity decreasing, off-chain increasing. Growth in the number of speculative transactions on exchanges is faster than growth of utility transactions to buy goods and services. And that's the problem with crypto in large, by and large, is because we tend to, we're all speculators in, in this crypto game. And, and, you know, we're hodling and not really using, no, nobody wants to use their Bitcoin because they're afraid of the price increasing uh, tomorrow. You know, or or you don't want to be the, the the pizza guy, right? The pizza guy spent over ten thousand Bitcoin on two uh, pizza pies back in like what was it, twenty eleven, twenty twelve, or something like that. And now those ten thousand Bitcoins are worth a lot of money. No one wants to be that guy. However, if we want to change the system, we have to use. Bitcoin. We have to use crypto. This is why when I go into local mom and pop stores all the time, I ask them, do you accept Bitcoin? Why aren't you accepting Bitcoin? And I try and I, you know, explain to them why it'll be beneficial to them to accept Bitcoin and not accept uh, a Visa and a MasterCard and, and start accepting Bitcoin and Litecoin and things of that nature. So you, you got to start having that conversation in your, in your neighborhood with people around you in the stores you frequent. This way you start planting that bug in people's head and we could start using Bitcoin and start our own economy and escape from this economy where we are, we, we're under the thumb, so to speak, of the Federal Reserve, okay? And they could print as much currency as they want. However, with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, we know that there's a finite supply and they can't just print new ones willy-nilly. That's just my two sats on that. Next, speaking of Bitcoin and spending it, 
An Israeli blockchain startup claims they've invented an undo button for Bitcoin transactions. A two-year-old a two-year-old Israeli blockchain startup says it has found a way to cancel crypto transactions if they are sent to the wrong wallet address. I read this story and I think it's a feature that's going to be in sp specific wallets and it's not going to affect the blockchain, so to speak, because when you send it, I'll just get into it right here. Karibo, a two-year-old Israeli blockchain startup, announced on Tuesday that it has found a way to tackle problems related to human error in cryptocurrency transactions. 55% of respondents reported experiencing stressful human errors when sending cryptocurrencies. And I definitely could appreciate that fact because especially when I first started out, I was super stressed out about sending my Bitcoin to another wallet or whatever the case is, especially back in 2017 with the, with the backed up transactions and being nervous that I sent it to the wrong wallet and double and triple and quadruple check in to make sure that I had the right wallet address. And 18% reported lost uh, loss of funds due to such errors. As such, Karobo has invented retrievable transfer, a way for senders to cancel a transaction that is sent to the wrong address. Until the right code has been provided by the recipient, the sender can retrieve the funds anytime. So this one, this is why I'm thinking it's with specific uh, wallets. It's just a code upgrade. So if you're sending Bitcoin to me, and if I if I don't enter the correct code in that wallet to retrieve the Bitcoin, then it'll just be an unspent transaction or just just a transaction that that didn't go through yet. That's not even uh, completed yet, and then you're able to pull it back because I didn't, you know, enter the correct code or you may have sent it to the wrong wallet. Corobo does not hold the user's private key and has no access whatsoever to the funds or their destination. The password simply governs whether the transfer is finalized or not. Corobo said the retrievable transfer feature is now available on the Ledger crypto wallet for Bitcoin transactions and will purportedly remain free for transaction amounts up to $1,000. Great news, great adoption. Again, it's not specifically uh, pulling back transactions, so to speak, in, in the for, in the fact that um, what, when we're speaking about Bitcoin being immutable, it's not affecting the blockchain. It speaks to specific wallets. So, so with the ledger, you're able to send between ledger wallets Bitcoin transactions and if the receiver doesn't enter the correct password that you both agree upon, then you're able to pull a transaction back and don't let it hit the blockchain. I definitely like that. This will help with the transition and also the adoption of Bitcoin. What will also help is using something like unstoppable domains where you're using real readable crypto addresses, Sergeant Crypto or Sergeant that crypto computers dot crypto instead of trying to put in that 16 uh, bit or 16 character wallet address you're able to put in real words so like coin telegraph dot crypto and they'll, they'll have their wallet attached to that website to that domain name and that's another way for adoption as well next favorite story of the day gold versus bitcoin 2.8 billion dollars fake bullion scam highlights bitcoin benefits a huge corruption scandal involving chinese loans backed by fake gold is pressuring its supporters to defend it against unforgettable unfor i'm sorry unforgeable bitcoin this is not the first time we've seen something like this and as a matter of fact here's that story right here a quick snippet. I remember this once I read that story. I remember this happening. Chinese scientists have found have turned copper into material that's almost identical to gold. They're trying to be alchemists. Chinese scientists have turned copper into a material that is almost identical to gold. A new study says the new material will reduce the use of rare, expensive me metals in factories. The authors says or the authors say. I just back to the Coin Telegraph story. So that that last. A snippet coming fr from Google. It's not that they turned the copper into gold because that's impossible. They're two different elements. 
they had they turn it into to some new metal where it has similar properties to gold as far as w when when you're talking about electricity being tr transferred over gold wires electricity being or these gold parts when you're using them in manufacturing when you talk about building TVs building computers building smartphones these components inside uh, of all of our electronic component all of our electronic equipment use a small amount of gold to help with help facilitate electrons from one part to the next that's the simplest way I could try to break it down and they found a way to make fake gold so to speak to, to help with that here we go loans a loans deal between Chinese financial institutions and Wuhan King gold jewelry Wuhan here we go with Wuhan again <laughs> with gold as collateral fell apart when it became known the gold was gilded copper they basically took copper bricks and covered them with gold there they just uh what's what's it called uh gold tint not, not gold tint i can't remember the the, the, the phrases right now i'm just totally set my mind i'm having a brain fart but this is funny as f as you can see i definitely found this fun the story to be extremely funny especially because of our dude bitcoin ultimate troll mr peter schiff and he calls bitcoin holders stupid however you can't fake bitcoin you can't produce any more bitcoin you just can't fake it you can not not like with gold gold can be fake you could be scammed by your local jeweler if they're up to no good you could be scammed if you're a gold bug and you have your gold in a vault by held by some third party if the world goes to hell and back if you're trying to get your gold good luck because unless you have men with guns to go with you to get your gold it's not happening this is coming from Who's this coming from? Shift. Given how much further Bitcoin is from its record high relative to the Dow Jones or gold, they still expect it to make a new high first. Hope it is never a good investment strategy. All right, that's it, man. You know, I mean, just like I said, you can't fake Bitcoin. And although Peter Schiff may, you know, hate Bitcoin and talk down about Bitcoin and that we are stupid for holding Bitcoin, you can't fake Bitcoin. Let me know what you guys think. Smash that like, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. And again, to smack YouTube in the face, this way you could help me to smack him in the face, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. It's Sergeant Crypto, and I'm out. Peace.